We'll end here with another famous consensus algorithm, Practical Byzantine Fault Tolerance, or PBFT. Published by Miguel Castro and Barbara Liskov in 1999, the original paper posed a solution to the Byzantine generals problem, as we previously mentioned. Paxos and Raft aren't by default Byzantine fault tolerant, though there are variants of them, like BFT Paxos, that are. PBFT was one of the original papers published on the topic of solving consensus when considering Byzantine faults. The PBFT algorithm handles less than one-third Byzantine faults, as we saw in the section with the Byzantine generals problem. More traditionally, this has been written as the system can handle f Byzantine faults where there are three f plus one total nodes. It's also really fast. The original PBFT paper showed that when integrated with standard unreplicated NFS, a distributed file system protocol developed by Sun Microsystems in 1984, the resulting BFT NFS is only 3% slower despite the fact that it can now withstand Byzantine faults. The main PBFT algorithm consists of three phases, pre-prepare, prepare, and commit. PBFT begins when the client submits a request to the primary node. The primary node is responsible for advocating for the client request, and this should be fairly familiar since it's a common design pattern. For example, remembering back to Paxos, the proposer proposes new decrees to other legislators in the Paxon parliament based on the requests of the people. In this case, the primary node is Derek. We have a total of four nodes, meaning that we should be able to withstand one fault, since one-fourth is less than one-third. So let's say that one of our four nodes, Nadir, drops out due to a spotty internet connection. Nadir might have dropped out, but the other three nodes might not know that yet, so they'll still send messages to him. The next step is pre-prepare which is one of the three main phases, pre-prepare, prepare, and commit. In the pre-prepare phase, the primary node Derek sends out pre-prepare messages to everyone in the network. A node accepts the pre-prepare message so long as it's valid. We won't go too much in detail, but messages contain a sequence number, like the increasing numbers proposers and Paxos assign to each other decrees. They also contain signatures and other useful metadata that lets nodes determine message validity. If a node accepts a pre-prepare message, it follows up by sending out a prepare message to everyone else. And prepare messages are accepted by receiving nodes so long as they're valid, again based on the sequence number, signature, and other metadata. A node is considered prepared if it has seen the original request from the primary node, has pre-prepared, and has seen 2f prepare messages that matches pre-prepare, making for 2f plus 1 prepares. Again, f is the number of Byzantine faults. After nodes have prepared, they send out a commit message. If a node receives f plus 1 valid commit messages, then they carry out the client request, and then finally, send out the reply to the client. The client waits for f plus 1 of the same reply. Since we allow for at most f faults, we need to wait for at least f plus 1, and this ensures the response to be valid. After this point, the client gets the correct response. Here's a diagram from the PBFT white paper, which models exactly the scenario we just went over. The diagram has five processes, or nodes in our case. The client is process C, Derek is process 0, I'm process 1, Gloria process 2, and Nadir is process 3. In the first step, the client sent a message to Derek, process 0, that's the initial request. During this time, Nadir fails. Then, Derek sends a pre-prepare message to the rest of us processes. Everyone except Nadir responds with a prepare message. After acknowledging everyone's presence, we all send the commit message. And after hearing sufficient amount of commits, we respond directly to the client. 